I'm so sore. Don't electrocute yourself with a blow dryer. What is up? So, I wanted to do a little hair tutorial today. I by no means am an expert on this hair tutorial. It's like the swooped up, kind of like messy, you know, swooped back look, but uh, I've been doing this for a couple of months and I feel like I've got a pretty good technique down, at least for my hair type. I have really curly hair, I don't know if you can see it, I just got out of the shower uh, a little bit ago. But I have really curly hair, and so I like to, so the blow drying helps straighten it a little bit, and then I try to like round brush it up a little bit to make a little bit of volume. So, well, uh, I'll show you how I do it. I don't know if this is the best practice, but this is what I've figured out at least, so. So let's go ahead and get ready together. I use the Paul Mitchell, uh, Lavender Mint Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner. Uh, this has got tea tree oil in it. My hair is really, it gets, it's dry, and so it adds moisture into it, but then it gets oily. I try not to wash my hair every day now, so when it gets oily, I get pimples, and so the tea tree oil, I feel, oh, my toothbrush just fell out of the sink. I feel like my hair gets oily after a couple days, and then the tea tree oil, uh, when you wash it out, I feel like that uh, kind of combats some of the acne that is in my hair. So that's why I use these two. I've been using them for years. I should probably switch it up, <laughs> but they work for me. So anyway, that's what I wash my hair with. So then I put in, um, so the Kenra, this stuff smells so good. The Kenra Perfect Blowout. This stuff smells like candy. Oh, I wish you guys could smell it. <laughs> so I put a little bit of this in my hair because it has a little bit of stick to it. So this is what it looks like. And uh, just a little bit of hold. So I put that through my hair. Because I feel like that helps everything stay in place a little bit. Oh, it smells so good. And then, of course, we need our blow dryer. So what I do first is, so what I'll do is I will blow it straight to, um, to straighten it out. So, and this is the uh, Olivia Garden Pro Thermal Anti-Static small round brush. I don't know what size it is. But anyway, so I will like comb through it like this and blow dry it so that it gets straight um, first to, you know, make it straight. straight so I'll go back in and so I'll add a little bit of volume to the front and a little bit of volume because it's super straight and like stuck to my head um, you know if I wanted to do a look of more just combing it over then I could just do a little bit of volume in the front and then put my product in but I want to add a little bit of volume like a lot of volume to the front and then I'm going to add a little bit of volume to the rest of it and then we'll go ahead and style and so this part right here kind of sticks up a little bit so I'll do the opposite side curl um, to kind of get it to lay down a little bit. I mean, this has taken a long time for me to figure this out, but here we go. <laughs> Forming cream. I don't know if you can see that. Um, uh, so this is this will give you a little bit more moisturized look. So I usually do that like the first day. Like I might do that today, but I don't want to. Oops, dropped it. I don't want to screw it up. I don't want to screw up my look. Uh, and then most of the time I'll do the again the uh, Paul Mitchell Tea Tree Shaping Cream. So this one is a little bit more matte finish. 
And so, yeah, that's what I do. So I think today we are going to do, we're gonna go ahead and do the mat just because I know <laughs> what that's gonna do. And I don't wanna screw this up on film. So I just put a little bit in my on my fingertips and then I rub it together to warm it up a little bit. Yeah, get in it. <laughs> and I actually put, I probably overdo the product a little bit and then also I break out, but you know, I'm a little extra. Okay, now that I got that warmed up in my hands, I'll just start pulling it back and trying to work it through the hair and the, get like most of the product in the front and then just some in the back. Start working the hair backwards. Get some in the roots in the front. Make sure our part's on point. <laughs> and so likes to do its own thing so I like to put a lot in there and then I'll do a lot in the roots and then down the part so once I have the shape together I feel like I have the shape pretty well down so then I'll just run my brush through the sides really quick again just to make sure it looks really laid and those line I like those little lines that it creates and then I'll run it through this side a little bit just to kind of blend it. And then I'll take my Kenra, let's see, what is this? Kenra Working Spray. So this is a really light hold spray. And so, and it adds a little bit of shine. So now that I did that matte uh, forming cream, so I just keep it in place. This adds just a little bit of shine. So that's it, I don't know what you call this look. I don't know if it's like an Elvis, like a modern day Elvis look. Not sure, but I like it. You know, I've been, I, you always look back on pictures and you're like, oh, what was I thinking with my hair? Because styles change and I've always felt like growing up that my hair was really hard to manage and nobody really had my texture of hair because I'm half black, half white. And so it's kind of curly, it's kind of straight. You know, I have a lot of calyx and all that stuff. So, you know, this technique with the blow drying and it straightening it, I feel like has been the best so far. And I don't know, I just really like the way that it looks. And this is, you know, what everybody's kind of doing is doing like a little bit of a bouffant type thing in the front. And so I'm excited that I could participate in this look. <laughs> we'll see how long the trend lasts. But um, I don't know, what do you guys think of my hair? What do you guys think of uh, my process. Maybe I can add another step that can enhance it a little bit. I don't know. I'd love to hear. But thank you for joining me on my hair tutorial and I will check you on the next one. Bye.